Hello, Chris. Just kind of fill us in on the knee injury. I mean, how did it come about and what's going on with your health in general? Yeah, it happened kind of, I don't know, earlier on in camp and, you know, I was just trying to battle through it. Um, just wasn't getting better, so it took some time to to get it right, and I think I'm approaching that point. Is it something where you're dealing with setbacks, or has it been kind of the same? Um, I don't know. If it, I don't think I had necessarily a setback. I think I put a lot of pressure on myself to be ready by the beginning of the season. So when I practiced a couple of weeks ago and then didn't practice the next day, I think that was just me trying to test to see where I was. Um, and at that point, I wasn't necessarily ready to, to get back on the field just quite yet. Were you thinking of playing this Sunday against Seattle? Um, I'm not sure yet. Um, I mean, I would love to. Um, I would love nothing more to than to, than to be playing. Um, but, you know, it's something that, like I said, I, I want to make sure that I'm 100%. You know, I think I owe it to myself and uh, to the team not to, you know, put myself out there if I'm not going to be um, at full speed. But I feel like I'm approaching that point. Kind of stemming off that, like, if, if you feel like uh, you can play, do you want to be able to play the full game and not be on a pitch count? I mean, I would love to, yeah. Um, is that reality? I don't know. You know, obviously not having played for a bit. Um, you know, conditioning is a, comes into play a little bit. So um, I'm sure there'll be a plan in place if I were to play. After what happened last year, just mentally, how are you doing just having to go through something like this again? Yeah, it sucked. I mean, it was, it was bad. But, you know, I think uh, it's kind of got to play the hand you're dealt, you know. So um, I think the worst is behind me, which is uh, feels good. So just kind of continue to move forward and uh, progress and stack these good days. Is it um, been frustrating, I guess, just because you you get the new contract and it kind of sets up for ideally a big off season? Has it been frustrating to just have to sit out these first couple, knowing that? Yeah, I mean, I don't really think too much about that stuff. I'm I just miss playing. It really, really comes down to contract stuff. Is you know, it is what it is. What have you seen from the defense since you've just been watching these past two games? Oh man, we're playing really hard. Um, you know, I think just a few big plays here and there that kind of you know put us in tough situations. Um, but for the most part, man, the guys are battling real hard. Um, I think they're on the same page. Um, and I think the effort's been, been pretty great. So, you know, I think we'll continue playing hard like that and put ourselves in a position to, to be successful. Anthony, it's hard to fill your shoes. How do you feel that Nick is doing and, and what do you like best about his game? Oh, he's playing great. Um, he's, he's doing everything that, you know, he's asked to do and, and, and some. Obviously made some really big plays for us. Um, I, I, what was the second part of your question? I'm sorry. And what you like most about how he's playing right now? Oh, man, he just comes to work every day. Um, he's all about the team, very unselfish and really smart, able to communicate um, with the rest of the guys. So um, he's a, a great, uh, great player. Anthony, how does the defensive line right now, I mean, obviously with Daniil back and then with Michael and Delvin being in the middle, how does the line as it is this season help the linebacker group? Yeah, I mean, it clears up a lot of things for those guys. Um, you know, they're they're taking two guys usually at the at the least, and when they're not, you know, they're making the play. So, uh, having guys like that up front cleans things up for the for the guys in the middle, and um, I think you've seen that the result of that. What do you think it'll be like having fans back for a regular season game Sunday, and just how much does the defense kind of feed off the fans at USA? Yeah, I think we all anticipated being you know pretty obnoxiously loud, and um, you know and that's kind of what we were hoping. Uh, you know, I think we, we draw a lot of energy from our home crowd, our home stadium, and um, you know, on third downs, and I think that's that's when they're at their loudest, and that's when we need them the most. So hopefully, that that's the case. How does the crowd noise impact what you do from a linebacker position? Uh, it's just the communication part, obviously getting the calls out, and then making the checks and making sure everybody's on the same page. And um, I think when we're on the same page, we're we're pretty good. You know, but. That, that home field advantage, you know, I think that's the, the one part that, that makes it difficult for the defense. How did practice go yesterday? Were you able to do too much, or was it more just get back on the field and kind of take a next step each day? Yeah, exactly. Um, taking it day by day, um, trying to progress and do a little more each day, and um, I came out of it uh, better than I did a couple weeks prior. And you mentioned the worst being behind you. Is this something you think you can totally put behind you this year, or will you have to manage this the entire year? You think? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it'll be it'll be behind me here pretty soon. Yeah. Can you give any specifics? Is it tendonitis, something else, or I think you would you like to that. offer any medical terms? <laughs> uh, I'm not a doctor, so it's probably best that I just uh, I don't say too much. 
Thanks.